to shoot. Harden shake and bake, steps back, three-pointer, bang! He does everything. Back to the oh, oh my goodness. what a move by oh. Harden! And he drops the switch! Just aside the floor. Good defense by Kyrie. Oh, wow! wow! Thompson's defense there. Step back, three, down, come! For the half, or he couldn't drive on it. Oh, oh! oh. Hyde's licking his chops. It's his oh. He fell down. And oh. Under two to play. Hard step back. Puts up the three. Got hit. Shots good. Thank you, David. Here's Hard with the drive. Stops. Oh. A facial. Harden trying to get free. Down to three. Down to two. It's a three. Good. Good. I thought it was going to be. Oh, All right, man. Hard. Oh, he stared at Wesley Johnson. I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to create that neck on her big neck. My nigga selling crazy. So, YouTube is drawing. I'm back and over. Got a big body. Bang 23 video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, I'm Scarborough. Just getting on saying today, I am the Bill Dilla or your local quarter. And I'll cut a child with this MVP Prime. James Harden new video. Yes, sir. This was requested. So here it is today. You saw two days ago I did regular James Harden because I realized that I did not make James Harden as all this year when I thought I did. So I did regular Sixers James Harden. But this is a little different. As we know, MVP James Harden not only was a elite playmaker, he was an elite scorer. And on top of that, dunking on people and that for that season specifically, or not, or in one of those seasons collectively. Bro average like two point some steals. So I wanted to represent that with this bill. As we know, James Harden gets a lot of slack for his defense. So right here, this was the year where he did play like the best defense of his life. So, you know, but without further ado, let's get right into the actions I use for this prime James Harden. Good video. All right, so as you see, he's a shooting guard, left-handed, number 13. I made him six foot five, 220 pounds with a 6'11 wingspan and a solid body shape. You know, this is all accurate from the heights to the weight to the wingspan. As always, I try to keep my builds as accurate as possible just for the sake of it being the right build. All right, now for the attributes you see, this build will be very balanced. So I'm going to give him a 60 close shot, going to give him an 85 driving layup and an 84 driving dunk, which will give you access to pro contact dunks. Then for your shooting, I'm going to put his mid range shot up to an 83, and I'm also going to put his three point shot up to an 84. Then for his free throw, I'm going to put his free throw up to a 70. For your playmaking, you want to put your pass accuracy up to a 78. You want to put your ball handling up to a 92, and you want to put your spiel ball up to an 82. Now, for your defense, this is where the magic happens, for real, for real. For your interior defense, you put it up to a 50. You want to put your perimeter defense up to a 70. You want to put your steal rating up to an 85. And then put your defensive rebound up to a 50. Yes, a 85 steal. For your physicals, you want an 80 speed and 80 acceleration. Then you want to put your vertical up to a 75. And then put the rest toward your stamina. And this is pretty much the build, man. As you see, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as I said, James Harden, it was the year after his MVP season where he averaged like two steals a game. But even in his MVP season, he averaged 1.8 steals a game. So I think I think we need to talk about that. Now for takeovers, you have slashing, shot creating, sharpshooting, and playmaking. But I chose uh, ankle breaking shots and pull-up precision. I know right now it's negative impact, but I, I thought pull-up precision would be a lot better for this version of James Harden. And you see in the shades of we're unfortunately not going to get James Harden, but we are going to get Vernon Maxwell, Kevin Herter, and DeJounte Murray. As you see right here, it is a pure shot creator. Just that's it. It's a pure shot creating build. Now, as I was saying, though, MVP James Harden, 
Like, I, there was always the knock on his defense when he always did make defensive plays. It's just he wasn't the greatest perimeter defense, but he was very good at getting into the passing lanes and also getting into people's pockets, which is represented by his stats. Now, for the bash spread, you're going to you already have a pretty balanced bash spread. But if it were up to me, you know, you have 13 defensive uh, badges. I would add three just so you have access to tier three uh, badges and you can get silver glove. And then for your one extra badge, put that to playmaking and you should be OK. You should be all right. You should be able to do what you need to do with this build. Now, like I said, this build is very fluid. It plays very well. And on top of that, it has very good defense. You know, that 85 still rating alone allows you to be impactful in a defensive end. Unlike the other build that I made of James Harden, where I believe he had like a 35 steal. You know what I mean? So it's it's a lot different defensively with this build because you still have the same perimeter defense, but you just have uh, more steel. Also with the Sixers, James Harden, I had his post control a lot higher than with this one. And on top of that, he had like one extra point on mid range. <laughs> so if you care about the one extra point, you know, it's up to you for what you which one you want to make. But I feel like this one is less of a defensive li uh, liability, you know, because right now, James Harden today is a lot slower. You know, obviously he doesn't exert as that much effort on defense and he changes the way that he plays based on if uh, James Harden or based on if Joel Embiid is playing or not. You know, so I wanted to make a build that obviously was from the glory days where bro wasn't really changing his level of play style, even though it is admirable. You know, I think it is holding him back from, say, averaging 30 and helping that Sixers team have two offensive rockets, you know, because we saw what James Harden did without Joel Embiid. He dropped 45. You know what I mean? Like, it's really crazy to think that James Harden from like 2015 to like 2020 was just dropping 40 points every other night. Like, literally, it's insane because I remember when it was happening, it was just normal. Like, it was normal to just drop 40 points. Like, for James Harden to drop 40 points every other night, 45 point game, 50 point game. 39 points and it was just normal so i think it really is a testament to how great james harden was as a player like honestly to solidify his legacy as like a top five shooting guard all time he would just need a, a championship literally just one championship because as you know that is like the the mark of greatness so we'll see if this is the year but yeah this bill represents that so that's for us the end of the video y'all make sure you like comment and subscribe we're gonna roll the six count saying Comment down below any builds y'all want, and I'll venture to them. But until then, I'm out. Like and subscribe if you're new. Peace.